biggest thing Air Force is they do such a good job at just finding stressful points all the time throughout your defense. Like, you know, I was talking earlier to some guys. It's not like, all right, D-line, linebackers, you stop the run. Corner, secondary, you stop the pass. They'll find a way to get everybody involved in every part of it. So they'll put the corners in a run fit. They'll put the D-line in a stressful position in the pass game. And so you're just always trying to find ways to simplify it for your guys because they're going to – they have their answers. It's a numbers game for them. You know, so it's – you do one thing, they have the answer for that. And so you're always trying to play that yin and yang where once they see one look, we're going to give them a different, you know, and you, you're trying to play it. But it's consistently working just also just fundamentals and techniques because they're very good at what they do. And so you might have the schematic answer, but if his guy is better than our guy at some point, or maybe he, his guy plays better fundamentals than ours, it is what it is. You know, and so trying to get our guys like, hey, we're going to get you in the right spot. But at the end of the day, you got to make a play, bro. As a defense, do you spend more time on Air Force than any other opponent you guys face? I would say yes in regards to just because they're very different. Like, you know, you're playing a, a spread team or a gap scheme team. You kind of get a lot, like you get work from our offense in fall camp doing this. You're always constantly getting work, but no one's that's not a triple team is going to come out and run triple like they do it. And so you, it feels like we get more work on them because we're doing like an extra couple days in spring ball, a couple extra days in fall camp. You're kind of professional developing with it. But I think overall you probably get less time because, you know, we teach how to stop zone. All the time, right. you know, but you just you're trying to find ways to steal reps on the triple option because you just don't get it. <laughs> Is this the toughest week of the year to be an offensive scout team player? Oh yeah, no <laughs> doubt. It's the toughest time for the O line. <laughs> We're out there just driving them like cattle, man. I'm freaking <laughs> kicking them like run, you know. But it's cool, like. But they also know the importance of it too. Like you know, we're talking with the running backs, like dude. Like, you don't know how big it is you got to hit this hole because this dude is going to come out of a free. And you guys have seen it. I mean, it's out of a cannon. Like, if you come jogging along, like, he's going to take your lips off, you know? So <laughs> it's cool getting the whole buy-in. And, and especially for me, I'm always like, dude, you don't know how important you, like, everybody is in this whole thing. So when we win games and we're successful, it's not just, you know, Curtis did a good job or, Lou, or whoever it might be. It's like that look you gave him, especially triple option, because you're not getting, it's not like I remember when Wyoming did this. Like, you have no frame of reference. It's Scout team to game, like that's it, you know. Like, and so it is tough on those guys, and they're getting they're getting run around. We gave them a couple extra Gatorades after practice today, so uh, it was good. Spencer, Coach Manning used the word uh, meat grinder to describe the battle up front with these oh, guys. Yeah. What's unique about their offensive line? Their offensive line is extremely talented, physical, and and quick at the point of attack, and they've they've always been that way. But this is a veteran crew now, and so. They were good last year, and we had a lot of issues up front last year, and they've even gotten better. And so it's a huge call for our front as well as our linebackers because they're getting to them and really for that front seven because these guys are bigger and stronger. But they're even, in my opinion, quicker than I've seen them. I mean, they're getting to the second level, cutting, moving faster than I've seen in a while. And so it's – but, it, I mean, it is carnage in there. I mean, there's guys getting cut. I mean, it's just – it's an R-rated movie in, the, in there, boys. I'm gonna tell you what. But it's but it's exciting. I mean, it's also one of those teams like I respect what they do. I really do. I mean, it's it's a fight. It's a battle. And guys, you try and get our guys to love it because like, boys, this is what it's about. I mean, this is old school. You know, like no more of that. You know, other stuff. Like this is what it is. But it is very physical and attack mindset inside. I mean, and and, and getting our guys ready for that and making sure the first time they feel it isn't on Friday night. You know, so trying to replicate that is tough. But it is. A meat grinder is exactly what it is. I mean, LBs are fighting to get all, you know, it's, it's what it is, man. It's fun, though. I mean, and, you're, and you, you, me, even sometimes you get kind of like, all right, here we go, triple option. More for because you know it's going to be late and you're trying to find answers. But getting our guys, like, excited to play because they should be. Like, these are those awesome games, man, in front of a home crowd that's going to be fired up.